not posted a video in so long. Um, I've been very busy. Not a bad thing either. It's a good thing. Um, but so much has been happening. There's so much that I want to talk to you guys about. So many different topics always run through my mind, but I just never get the time to sit down and make this video. Um, so in this one, I'm going to try to cover a couple different things to make up for lost time. Um, first thing is I am excited to be working with a new loan officer. Her name is Nadia Jones, and she's with Nova Home Loans. Um, she's great. Uh, um, I'm loving this relationship already. Um, so I, I set a, a certain bar. I give a certain level of customer service and attention to my clients. And when I turn you, turn you over to a lender, um, I want it to stay that way. I don't want you to have two totally different experiences. Um, so that's why I don't work with just anybody. I could choose whatever lender I want um, as my preferred lender. So I chose, I, I came across Nadia and um, I asked her if we could have a meeting so that, you know, we can get to see where each other, where we are, um, if we'll be a good fit to work with each other. We had that meeting and it went great. Like immediately I knew that this would be a great partner for me to have. Um, and so far so good. We've already done an event together. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw me post about it, but I did meet a lot of you at the Women's Expo and that was great. It was great to meet you guys. So you met Nadia, she was with me at the booth. Um, and we're looking forward to doing uh, business with all of you. Um, You'll, you'll, you'll enjoy your experience with the both of us. Uh, we're both always up late at night emailing every time we get an idea or, um, you know, what we, we just don't really have business hours. <laughs> we like to get things done. Uh, we like to be available to our clients. Um, so I'm excited about this uh, working relationship. And um, so if any of you reach out to me uh, to purchase a home, you want a pre-approval, that's who I'm sending it to. And I promise you'll be in good hands. Nadia is, she's very good at what she does. Um, so with that, another thing I want to discuss that leads me into credit repair. Some of you are working with credit repair services. And if they're working for you, that's great because it doesn't work. For a lot of people I know or that I've met um, what I will say is if you don't see any, any results not even one uh, item fall off your credit within the first 30 days uh, you might not be with the right company so um, Nadia that's another thing Nova Home Loans offers they offer uh, credit services so she can get you set up with that but even if you are working with another agency for credit repair um, and your goal is to purchase a house you need to start with a lender first let your lend let the lender go over your all your financials and your credit report to determine uh, your debt to income ratio that's something only they would know um, for them to approve you for a loan your credit repair people can't tell you exactly where you need to be to get approved for a loan um, because different lenders have different expectations. So you want to get with your lender first to say, hey, here's all my stuff. Here's all my pay stuff, my bank statements, here's my credit report. Where do I need to be? Where, do, where should I start? And let them give you a plan. Let them set your goal. And that's what you take to the credit repair company and tell them, this is what my lender said I need to have done. Um, and then let them work on that. So that's that's the right way to do it because I have seen where people go to credit credit repair um, services and then go to the lender. Credit repair service tell you, oh, you good to go now. Your score went up 70 points. You good now. Credit Karma tells you, oh, you got a seven seven fifty, right? And then you go to the lender and you feel you feel like you're ready, you're excited, and then the lender tells you, oh, you only got a 690. 
um, that's because Credit Karma just sort of gives you a general idea of how you're doing. Um, but every time you apply for something, they pull your score and they score you differently depending on what you're applying for. So you can go apply for a car right now and the dealership will tell you, okay, you good, you got a 720. Here's the car loan sign. Then you go to apply for a mortgage loan and they tell you um, you only have a 650. Everywhere you go, they're gonna give you a different score because they're, they're ranking you differently based on what you're applying for. So, Credit Karma is hardly ever gonna give you the same score that a lender will give you. So you wanna make sure that you are on point with your score when it's time to apply for that loan. Um, don't just go by Credit Karma. Um, so that that was one important thing that that's like real life has been happening. Um, so when you know you need some credit repair, please let's start with the lender first. Let the lender set your goals. Then you take that list of goals to your credit repair person if you're not going to use um, the lender's credit services. So that's that. Uh, if you guys have any other questions on that, um, you can give me a call, email, text, and um, I'll, I'll explain it further. Uh, or put you in touch with the lender so she can explain it to you in, in full detail. Uh, so another thing is, um, these are all real life events that happen. So um, I'll share with everyone. When you're purchasing a house and you know I send you listings, and we go take a look at them. Um, I'm always gonna tell you, okay, out of these 17 listings, pick your top five. Okay, we'll schedule an appointment for us to go look at the house. Now, the ones you pick is, is gonna be the ones that, um, that's, it has the, amount, the, the number of bedrooms that you need, bathrooms, it's in the right school zone, right area. Um, but then we get to the house, we walk in, and you see brown paint on the wall. You see uh, stained up carpet. That kind of stuff. I know it's hard for the average buyer to not walk away from it. Because um, you, you look at it and be like, Ugh, I don't like brown walls. Nope, I don't want this house. Um, the carpet is nasty. Nope, I don't want this house. The way the market is right now is not a whole lot to choose from. So don't be picky, don't don't uh don't sweat the small stuff. Um paint can easily be changed. Flooring could easily be changed. As a matter of fact, that's the whole purpose of buying your own house anyway, so that you can make it yours, make it what you want it to look like. And you have that opportunity now because now since it's yours, you don't have to ask the landlord or the owner um, can I paint the walls? You don't have to worry about painting them back um, the old color before you leave. This is your house now. You don't have to get permission from anybody to do anything. Um, and those are the fun things to do. Uh, those are the perks of, one of the perks of home ownership. Um, you do what you want to do. And so it's it's been hard lately for some people to see past certain cosmetic things. Um, because if you walk in and you see work, oh gosh, it's, there's work that has to be done. I don't want it. It's too much. It's not that kind of market to be that picky. Um, it's, it's in the location that you want. It's the right size house. Take it. That's the, you, you're focused on the house, not the paint, not the floors. Okay. Um, get that house, secure that house, secure that location. The rest you worry about after you get those keys in your hand. Um, but then that's that's where I come in at. Also, uh, I have a eye for design. Um, and I, I have not ever <laughs> really offered my services much or advertised it. Um, but it, it's something that I love. I love interior design. Like, I could walk into a room and there could be 12 different color paints on the wall. The carpet could be just disgusted in it and i and i would see the beauty in it i would be like ooh, I, in 30 seconds i could redesign this whole room and make it brand new um i have i have that gift 
and uh, I'd like to share it with you guys. Um, if that makes you feel better about buying a house that doesn't have the flooring or the cabinets or the countertops that you like, that stuff can easily be changed. Um, and the email, I'm gonna, I, I, if you're on the email list, you'll see some photos of some of the work that I've done. Um, to my own house, I bought this house brand new two and a half years ago, but I'm still doing stuff to it, just having fun, changing stuff, and just making it my own. Um, I have a crew of guys that I've been working with, same guys for the same for, for the past two and a half years. Um, they do great work, so that's another thing. You don't have to worry about, oh, uh, well, if I need paint, who I'm gonna call to paint it? If I need to change my floors, who? Who am I gonna find? How am I gonna find somebody? How do I how do I know I can trust them? Well, you got me. I've got floors done in my house um, by the same guys, and they do great, great work and at a good price. So I shop around and I I compare and you know do all of that. So you don't have to do that. Um, who I'm sending or who I'm using will be the best. Like you will be amazed. You you will be um amazed at, at at the work that they do uh you'll be satisfied so like i said don't worry about you know the small stuff you just need that house you need that piece of land get that and the rest we'll worry about later i don't disappear after um after you move in your house i'm still around still please feel free to call me and we can work together on designing and updating your house um, that's fun for me. I love Home Depot. That's what I do with my free time. <laughs> um, but uh, another thing, buying brand new. Yes, you walk in model homes and they're gorgeous. They have all the upgrades. But I, if we're on the budget, I don't suggest trying to, you know, deck it all out before you move in because all that's doing is taking your price up and up and up. And um, we don't wanna do that. We want you to be comfortable in your house. We don't want you to be uh, house poor. So well, I wouldn't suggest to do a whole lot of upgrades with the builder if we're on a budget. Um, you take everything bare, take everything basic, um, standard. Whatever comes standard, take it. And then we can work on upgrades later. Like I said, I'll be around. I'll be happy to help you come up with some backsplash ideas, wood floors, towel, paint colors, crown molding, design a shower, or whatever you need. I'll be glad to, you know, continue working with you after you purchase the house to, to come up with some ideas to make it look nice and make it feel like a model home, but you won't pay model home price. Um, because when you're doing, you know, aftermarket work to, to the house, um, you come out a lot cheaper and you're not financing every single thing that you did to your house if as as you would if you let the builder do everything keep your costs down <laughs> just get everything standard and start upgrading later um, you could even start upgrading as soon as you get your keys before you even move in so like if you want to change your kitchen your cabinets or change your flooring um you can we can we can schedule for that to be done the day you get your keys or the next day before you move in um you know before you start getting all your furniture in uh then you got to move it all out the way so they can work on the floors or you don't want your you don't want you don't want to be inconvenienced by not being able to use your kitchen because you're getting new cabinets or countertops or whatever um, so some of that stuff you can get done right after closing, but before you move in so that you're not inconvenienced. Um, if, if it really bothers you that bad and you need it done right away, but if you can wait, wait and get it done later. Um, so I think that's it for now. Those are some very important things that's been on my mind that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, but like I said, uh, the pictures are attached if you're on the email list of some of the work that I've done to my home. Um, and I'd be glad to share my gift with you guys uh, as you purchase your homes. And really, really, really think about what I said. Don't be picky about the small stuff. 
um, just secure the house because this market is crazy and you don't want to lose the perfect house in the perfect location just because the carpet was stained or the paint was too dark. That stuff can easily be changed. Um, I'm glad I was able to sit down and finally get another video out. Uh, like I always say, if you guys have any questions, please uh, either comment below or text, email. You can reach me however you're comfortable. Till then, um, you oh you can also let me know if there are some topics that you want me to um, to hit on to discuss. Uh, send me an email. Let me know if there's something that. Um, you been want to know about something you'd like for me to elaborate on i'll be glad to do that till next time take care